Well, friends, this uh, documentary, it was very good, but it didn't tell me anything that I didn't know. And I didn't tell the media anything the media don't know. <laughs> but I think it bears repetition because it's an important fact. Now, you know, the media is not <coughs> a grim picture all around. I think the media in many ways is thriving, <coughs> journalism is thriving, investigative journalism of a certain kind is thriving. Our electronic channels, which we take far too seriously, are thriving. And they do good work. I think they don't get credit for the good work they do. They get credit for all the noise and etc. they make. But the credit they don't get for the good work to do. I think one of the things that television has done is that the random violence and injustice in Indian society, say like the rape of a policewoman, or the murder of an inspector, or the, a child not getting proper treatment in hospital and dying. I think they focus, because of the human drama in those stories, they focus very strongly on that. And I think this is a positive thing they have done. They have reminded the country that not only in urban areas, but in rural areas, these things went on. They were rampant. You may ask about rape cases. I was talking to the Delhi Police Commissioner, and I said, despite uh, the gang rape, etc., it's business as usual on the streets of Delhi. Uh, there are four rape, rape cases a day. So it, it hasn't made any difference. But I think what he didn't say, and he said, yes, I think uh, you're right. But I think what is happening is also something very interesting is that women, young women and families have got much more courage now to come and report these cases. Earlier, what was going unreported or would be hushed because it would bring ba bad name to the family, etc. Now people are coming out openly and, and going to the police and forcing the police to take cognizance of what they are doing. So this is just one aspect of what the electronic media has done. The print media has also, is also doing very good work. And I think if you look at some of the big scandals in the last 12 months, forget earlier, you will find every single one of them has been exposed by the media, including the print media. And it is their relentless pursuit of that story, sometimes too relentless, sometimes relentless to the point of boredom and nauseation, that they have pursued those stories and forced the government to do something. I think the most uh, vivid case would be this again gang rape case, where in 30 days you got a, a commission of inquiry headed by a job submitting its reports. And I remember another judge called Mr. M. S. Liberan, who was also heading a commission of inquiry, and he took 17, 18 years and did nothing. <laughs> so I am talking about the positive aspects, but I think I must deal with one other aspect which worries me greatly, that we in the media, and I include myself in that, who demand accountability from everybody, politicians, civil servants, bureaucrats, prime ministers. We say you, are, you have to be accountable to the people of India. There should be transparency in the way you work. And if there is, you should be like Caesar's wife, it's a terrible phrase. But I don't know what, I can't remember reading Shakespeare, I don't remember that Caesar's wife was very chaste. But they say that you should be like Caesar's wife. And therefore there should be no suspicion, no finger of suspicion should be on you. So this is our public posture. And is, I'm absolutely right, I am not condemning it. But when you ask the media, what about your accountability? What about your transparency? How did you get to this story? Who gave it to you? And how, what, are, what is the defense of your story? What are the sources of your story? Especially when that story is contested. I, I, and then we have no answer. 
So while we were eating tea and pakora, somebody said to me, I think that lady sitting over there at the press club, mm -hmm. she said that media accountability is very important. We should have a debate on it. And I told her I've been debating this damn thing for 15 years. <laughs> nothing happens. We debate and debate and debate and nothing happens because I, the reason is that the print media in particular, I'm only now castigating the print media in particular, refuses to allow anybody outside to interfere with the way they work. So all I'm saying is that uh, we need uh, uh, we need accountability and we need uh, an independent regulator and if we don't do it, we will be cutting our own feet. Thank you. <laughs>